if y'all tuned into the live stream that I did this past Friday, you would know that one of the last stories that I talked about, it was the, it was the first, uh, one of the three last, uh, stories that I talked about on my live stream. It was about Deshaun Jackson and now he got pushed back for a post that he made on his Instagram page. And of course, you know, he eventually apologized for what he said. Then he took the post down and then he spoke with some people, I guess, you know, in the Jewish community about the Holocaust and everything like that. Now, I'm going to read to you what the post said that he posted. It was actually a quote where it says Hitler said. Because the white Jews know the Negroes are the real children of Israel and to keep America secret, the Jews will blackmail America. They will extort America. Their plan for world domination won't work if the Negroes know who they are. The white citizens of America will be terrified to know that all this time they've been mistreating and discriminating and lynching the children of Israel. That's the post that got them all riled up. And people were saying, well, first off, it, that's a violation, number one, of his freedom of speech. And two, was he lying? The answer to the first um, part is, well, of course, yes, that was a violation of his First Amendment right. And the second part is, no, he was not lying. But I'm not going to get into all of that. But, of course, you know, they got riled up and everything like that. But that wasn't enough. He came out and he did his little public apology and whatnot. Saying that he know he understands why people were upset, but that wasn't enough. So it has just come out now that he was fined. I don't know how much money because I haven't read the article yet. I'm just reading the title. It says he was fined for detrimental conduct after quote unquote anti Semitic posts. I saw that coming. And you know what's so crazy? They know how to hold a grudge so much that they're going to be on him like white on rice for a while. They are not going to let this one go. But when you had Riley Cooper say what he said, we was expected to let that go. When Ben Roethlisberger was doing his dirt, they glossed over it. When Nick Brown did what he did, even though like it, it are you seeing you're seeing the pattern here. But when it comes to the black players. They are scrutinized heavily when, you know, Ray Rice, uh, Adrian Peterson, and now Deshaun Jackson. There's probably some others in there, but they really going to stay on Deshaun Jackson. I bet there's many of them that was probably calling on him to get fired, and I know they were, and they probably still are. Oh, don't can't forget Michael Vick, of course. He's like the poster child for this. They always want to make sure that they stick it to a black guy, but they forget that if it wasn't for a lot of these black men, their precious NFL would be absolutely nothing. Because let's be real here. Who's going to pay to come and watch a bunch of PC uh, football players? This isn't exactly college. And even and the reason why I say a college is because on a collegiate level, that's why I think it is more. I, I could be wrong. That's why I think it's more PC males playing because these are a lot of PWI schools. And of course they are dominant there. Then when you get to the NFL, it looks almost like damn near like an HBCU. But let me go ahead and read this article coming from Bleacher Report. The Philadelphia Eagles have fined receiver Deshaun Jackson after he posted anti-Semitic messages on social media. Mind you, what I read to you could not even be close to being deemed that, but that's what they called it. Why? Because the first two words said, Hitler said. That's why they said. The Eagles announced they have penalized Jackson for conduct detrimental to the team in a statement released Friday. The statement reads, this has been a difficult and emotional week for our community and organization. The Philadelphia Eagles do not tolerate hate toward any individual or group. We believe in respect and equality for all races, ethnicities, and faiths. We as an organization want to help be an instrument for positive change. This can only occur through strong, deliberate actions and commitment to learn and grow. We have a, had a number of constructive conversations over the last few days, not only with Deshaun Jackson, but also with many other players, members of the organizations, and leaders in the community. That has led us to the next point where we and he are ready to take the next step. Today, 
We have penalized Deshaun for conduct detrimental to the team. He accepted these consequences and apologized. In our many conversations with him, it has also been made clear that this is only the beginning. We have discussed a concrete plan for how he, so how we and he can heal moving forward. He understands that in order to remain on the team, he must also commit to supporting his words with actions. We have been encouraged by his desire to educate himself, but we all understand that there is still a lot of work to be done. We will be continuing to assist Deshaun in his process, and we also know that all of us in our organization need to listen and learn in more about things that are unfamiliar or uncomfortable to us. We must continue to fight against anti-Semitism and all forms of discrimination while not losing sight of the important battle against systematic racism. You want to know what's so interesting? When Colin Kaepernick did what he did back in 2016, the uh, the 49ers didn't come out and release a long, lengthy statement like this when uh, when all of that was going on. They scrutinized him. See, what they're telling you is that there's only one group of people that, or what they're letting you know is, there's only one group of people here that face actual true racism, but they cover but they mask it and call it something else and they're letting you know or they're flexing their power right there that all really goes back to that statement that um that quote that deshaun jackson put on there that's why they don't want us to know who we really are you see that power that they're enjoying you see what they just did that's power to do what they um do did not said it before I even read this quote from the Eagles. They're not done with him yet. What make him apologize? That's nothing. Finding him? That's nothing. Oh, there's more coming down the pipeline. They gonna make him. They gonna almost make it to the point where he wants to walk around being mute. They probably like he not gonna want to talk to nobody. Remember how they treated um. Uh, who am I? I'm trying to think. Uh. I can't think of the player's name right at the moment, but y'all know who I'm talking about. The one said, I'm just here so I won't be fine. I won't get fined. They hated when he didn't speak. Now Deshaun Jackson is talking too much and they don't want him to. It's, I know it's confusing. ESPN's Tim McMahon has reported that Jackson intends to donate a significant portion of his fine to Jewish community efforts. Jack. That well, that lets you know right there that they find him heavy, right there. That just lets me know that all right there. Jackson made headlines when he posted a quote falsely attributed to Adolf Hitler to his Instagram account. Now look at that. They said falsely. They've already come out and basically said that that quote was not true. The thing is, they want that quote to not be true. He also shared quotes from Louis Farrakhan, who they also hate with the passion, who has been criticized for anti-Semitic behavior through his time as a leader in the nation of Islam. The receiver later apologized on his social media. It says the Eagles released a statement calling the messages absolutely appalling. I was trying to see if that was a new post, but it looks like the same. Uh, it looks like the same thing. Oh, hold on. It actually is a different statement. Excuse me. It says, we have spoken with Deshaun Jackson about his social media posts. Regardless of his intention, the messages he shared were offensive, harmful, and absolutely appalling. Now, this was from a, back on, on the 7th. I think this quote that I'm reading from the Eagles organization was before the one that I first read. They have no place in our society and are not condoned or supported in any way by the organization. We are disappointed and we iterated to Deshaun the importance of not only apologizing, but also using his platform to take action to promote unity, equality and respect. We are continuing to evaluate the circumstances and we will take a pro- appropriate action. We take these matters very seriously and are committed to continuing to have productive and meaningful conversations with Deshaun, as well as our players and staff in order to educate, learn and grow. 
Philadelphia said it would evaluate the situation and take appropriate action. It says, according to ESPN's Adam Schefter, the organization first had to determine how the situation would affect its contract, which features $4.8 million in guaranteed salary for 2020. See, they just had to make sure that they mentioned how much this man was making. And $4.8 million, that's not a big contract con- uh, compared to others. That's usually the contracts they give to people when they are getting toward the end of their career. Or when they've been, or depending on what position they're playing, on what team that they're on. Jackson is going into the second year of his stint with the Eagles after a trade from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers last March. The 33-year-old showcased his upside in week one last season, totaling eight catches for 154 yards and two touchdowns. But like I said, they feel like they are the only oppressed group. But when you look at how much their their atrocity, not saying that it wasn't bad compared to what we went through, our ancestors here and even over abroad with King Leopold. Now that now that's one they don't talk about. That's uh, one Holocaust they do not talk about. And I think we need to bring that one more to light because that one was worse than than the Holocaust that they dealt with. Way worse. Way and affected way more Africans than anything. And then of course you know what happened here with four hundred years plus of chattel slavery. But like I said, Deshaun Jackson was not lying with what he said. And the thing is he didn't even say it. It was a quote that he screenshot that he took a picture of and posted. He didn't have to say anything. That book did it for him, and they claimed that it was appalling. It's it's wild, but let me tell you, before I end this video, that quote that he highlighted and posted it up on his Instagram page, or wherever it is that he posted it, how they are acting towards this situation literally reflects that exact post because they know that if black people figured out who they really are, that would completely derail everything that they have going for them right now. 